Welcome to Adaptia's demo. In today's demo, we will show you the capabilities of Adaptia's Process Designer interface. Adaptia's Process Designer makes it easy for developers and business analysts to collaborate on the design of business processes. And in today's example, we will show how a user can model a purchase order flow using the Process Designer. And by doing so, we'll show how a user can accelerate the process of designing a workflow without having to write a single line of code. This is the Adeptius Process Designer interface. So let's get started in terms of implementing our purchase order flow by using this interface. The first step that the purchase order flow contains is the part where the purchase order is received by the organization from a customer. So we will use an activity node to depict that first function or that task of the, uh, of the process flow. So here we will simply type in the description of what this first activity will do once this process flow gets started. So once this flow gets started, we will receive a purchase order from a customer. And then the next step is that we will send an acknowledgement back to the customer in terms of, uh, of, of our confirmation message. The next step is that we need to review uh, a purchase order request. So this is a gateway that will contain a number of rules related to this process flow. So this gateway can be described as a review PO, where we will review this PO and apply some rules on it. And then there are two possible outcomes from this uh, gateway. The first outcome could be a decline of this purchase order. So we can place an activity uh, after this uh, gateway node, which will have a description uh, which will say uh, decline PO and notify customer. So once the purchase order is declined, it will notify the customer in terms of why this PO is, is, is declined. And the second outcome from this gateway can be that this PO has been approved and we need to send this PO to our shipping department. Once we send this PO to shipping department, we need to also notify the customer uh, in terms of the shipping details. So once this description is included in the uh, activity, the next step is to connect all of these different activities in a logical sequence using the control flow as we are doing here. And we'll use a default flow uh, as our else condition uh, based on the decisions that we will make in the gateway. So from this gateway, it can be an if-else condition. So if the purchase order is approved, it will take this route uh, where we will send the PO to shipping. Uh, if it's declined, uh, then it will simply notify the customer in terms of why the purchase order is declined. So let's embed certain rules um, on this gateway in terms of how we will review this PO. The first rule that we will use uh, using this uh, rules wizard is to check the quantity. So if the quantity of the items that are part of this PO uh, are more than 20, then we will reject this purchase order. So we can simply apply this rule on the quantity variable and if it's greater than or equal to 20, we will reject this purchase order. The next rule that we can apply is on the, the total amount. And if it's greater than 500, dollars, then this will also reject our purchase order. 
you can simply use our wizard to apply rules on this gateway in terms of how this can be reviewed uh, once this purchase order flow is executed at runtime. And as the users are designing their processes here in this canvas area, automatically the process designer is generating the code at the back end. And this code will be executed at runtime by the process flow engine. So this is how a user can quickly uh, implement their process flow designs using the process designer tool. In summary, uh, Adaptive Process Designer simplifies the process design and execution of any workflows. It is a graphical interface that allows users to model and create as well as implement a functioning process flow uh, without having to write a single line of code. And this process designer has a built-in rules repository which allows users to easily manage rules as the business situation changes within an organization. Users can also manage those rules very quickly uh, through this process designer interface. If you have any questions related to the process designer or if you require a, an extensive demo of the process designer interface, then please feel free to contact us at sales at adaptor.com or visit our website at www.adaptor.com. And this concludes today's demo. Thank you.